Welcome IGCSE students, we're going to carry on today by uh, using the completing the square method and that's going to help us uh, to find minimum and maximum points and sketch uh, graphs. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take number 1a. Uh, we've got y is equal to uh, x squared uh, minus 8x plus 12. So I'm going to first of all complete the square by halving the coefficient of the x squaring the whole thing, subtracting a 16, and then I've got that plus 12 on the outside. So if I simplify that, I should get x minus 4, all squared, and minus 4. Now, as I discussed at the end of the last video, so I hope that you watch that. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, you might want to watch that. Um, we know that the minimum point is going to be equal to... Uh, when x is 4, because we're going to make this squared bracket equal to 0, because that's the lowest it can be, and then the y value will be minus 4, that one there. Okay, so uh, first of all, we know we've got a minimum point at 4, comma, uh, minus 4, so we could say this is uh, 4, comma, minus 4 here. Now, we also need to show where it crosses the axis. So, um, where does it cross the y axis? Well, uh, when x is 0, what does y equal? So we would have uh, 0 minus 4, all squared, minus 4, which is 16 minus 4, which is 12. So we would have um, 0, 12, so that's where it's crossing the y-axis. So it looks like um, something like this. Yeah, so that would be 12. And where does it cross the... Um, the, uh, where does it cross the x-axis when y is equal to 0? When uh, y equals 0. So what we could do here is we could go, that would mean x minus 4 squared equals 4. And so x will uh, minus 4 will equal plus or minus the square root of 4. And so x will be equal to... 4 plus or minus 2 um, because the square root of 4 is 2 so that means it's going to cross at 2 um, so 2 uh, when x is 2 it will cross so somewhere like here and the other option is uh, 4 plus 2 which is 6 so um, that would be here so you're going to get something so we've got this is 2 and this is 6. I'm going to get something that looks roughly like this. And again, it's a sketch. So you don't have to be too exact. You've just got to show the places that it crosses the y-axis, which is here, the x-axis here and here, and then the minimum point. Um, give its coordinates. Okay, well, let's, let's uh, try another example. See where we get to with this. Oh, I don't want to delete that. Okay, uh, let's do this B example. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to complete the square. So it should be x plus 3, all squared, subtract uh, the square of 3, which is 9, minus 7. And so I'm going to get an equation of y is equal to x plus 3, all squared, minus 16. That means my minimum point is going to be at minus 3, comma, minus 16. So I'm trying to make that bracket equal to 0 to make my x value for the minimum point. And then this will be the y value at the minimum point. Now let's try and find out where is it going to, where is it crossing the x-axis and where is it crossing the y-axis. Well, it crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. So y will be equal to 0 plus 3, all squared, minus 16. So that's 9 minus 16, um, which is, uh, 9 minus 16 is... Uh, negative 7. And now we're going to find out where it crosses the x-axis. So this is when y is equal to 0. So I'm going to make 0 equal to bracket x plus 3 all squared minus 16. So that means x plus 3 all squared is equal to 16. And we'll just go up here to finish this off. So x plus 3 is equal to a plus or minus the square root of 16, which of course is 4. And therefore x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 4, which means we've got x coordinates of, um, so it'll be minus uh, 7. Oh, well, let's do the positive one first. So 1, 
1 comma 0 and uh, minus 3 minus 5 so minus 7 comma 0 so those are the two crossing points now if we were to sketch this uh, it's going to look something like this so we've got a crossing point at 1 comma 0 which is here we've got a crossing point at minus 7 comma 0 so 1 minus 7 and we've got a minimum point at minus 3 16 so that might be here uh, minus 3 comma 6 minus 16 and uh, it crosses the y-axis at minus 7 so it'll look something like this and this point here would be minus 7 so this is essentially how we do these I'm going to do one more for you uh, I'm going to do this C1 uh, which is a uh, negative x squared graph so y is equal to um, now I'm going to write it like this minus x squared minus 2x plus 8 so this is going to have a maximum point because it's a curve that's shaped like that that's what a negative x squared graph looks like so let's go ahead and uh, complete the square here I'm going to take that minus out uh, so I'm going to have something like this x squared uh, plus 2x plus 8 and therefore I've got minus and let's complete the square in there x plus 2 all squared minus 4 oh, sorry x plus 1 all squared and then it would be minus 1 here sorry half of that yeah minus 1 uh, plus 8 and then uh, we should get minus bracket x plus 1 all squared plus 1 because minus times minus is positive uh, plus 8 and so we should end up with minus bracket x plus y equals minus bracket x plus 1 all squared uh, plus 10 so max point should be at negative 1 comma 10 so again make this bracket equal to 0 and then that's the y value there okay uh, so got that there now let's find y um, intercept where does it intersect the y um, y axis well when x is equal to 0 so y equals and we can just use this here actually I don't know why I was uh, making it difficult for myself before um, y equals 8 um, okay and then the x intercepts there should be 2 we're going to use the completed square version so that's when y is equal to 0 so we're going to go x minus bracket x plus 1 all squared uh, plus 10 equals 0 so y equals 0 at x intercept okay now um, I will rearrange the formula so I'll just bring this minus x plus 1 all squared to cross the other side then I'm going to square root both sides um, so I get plus or minus the square root of 10 and so I'll get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 10 uh, and those are my two options now the square root of 10 um, is approximately 3 but what we'll do when we sketch this all in um, so minus 1 minus so we'll get a point about here which is like uh, minus 1 minus square root 10 um, and then we'll get a point about here which is minus 1 plus square root 10 we know that it crosses at positive 8 uh, so that'll be let's say uh, maybe a bit further up here let's say 8 is there and we know that the maximum point is at minus 1 10 so should be say here minus 1 comma 10 and then we just join everything up and that would be that one there okay again it's a sketch it doesn't have to look perfect all I'm trying to do is show where does it cross the x-axis where does it cross the y-axis and where's its minimum or maximum point so that should give you a general introduction and um, a help at getting going on this exercise as usual if you're stuck let me know on Thinkwave and um, we can talk about it. Okay, take care.